there is a good reason why I'm wearing these glasses today. I'm getting ready to look at the solar eclipse, which will happen in August 21st, 2017. Almost all of the 50 states of America will be able to see partial and full solar eclipse. I would like to welcome you to my studio. Let's paint solar eclipse together. Any task could be approached in different ways. Today I'd like to show you how to paint this view. It's very graphical and is going to be fun to paint. We'll start with just a blank paper. It is a watercolor paper, rough. With a pencil I'm going to make an outline of the sun. I would use any round object and just simply lightly outline the sphere. I will be using a soft bristle white brush and will start with two colors French ultramarine for the lower part of the painting and also black. In my case it's neutral black. We will be first wetting our paper in order for colors to be easily transferred all around. And please mind our um, sketched sphere, just paint around it. Once the paper is nicely moist and the water has been absorbed a little, you can start moving to the color. The color is blue, ultramarine blue, it's a beautiful color I enjoy. Try to make a gradient from the bottom up. Then I will move on to the second color, black, and this time from the top down I will be applying this color. Painting around the penciled sphere. My job now is to blend two colors together nicely. To smooth out the border of the black of the paint and white, the light of the solar eclipse, I will take a different brush and will just have water on it, no paint. With this brush I will smooth out the border in between the color. You can also take uh, a kitchen paper towel and use it to collect the excess of the moisture on the brush. Once I'm ready and have fixed my border, I will continue on making the gradient between the two colors. Just gradually moving down, collecting excess of the paint on the kitchen paper towel, you can make a nice gradient. So when I'm satisfied with what I have done, I will leave this paper to dry fully in order to move to the next step. You can touch the paper with your hand and see if there is moisture. Now that penciled drawing of the sun on the inside will have to be painted a solid black color. When a solar eclipse just a few seconds away from being total, the phenomena is called the diamond ring because, well, it looks like the diamond ring. And I'd like to introduce this in my painting too. For that, I will just put a drop of water on the very end of the sun. You could also use a paper towel in order to collect some of the extra moisture. I'll just make that a tiny bit brighter, which will almost look like the diamond ring. I would also make another adjustment. I will extend the sphere further to make it a slight larger. The final detail is to make the silhouetted buildings. You don't have to actually make the city, you could also paint trees or any other silhouettes, people watching the total solar eclipse. It's up to you. Use your creativity and have fun. I'm just making a silhouette of the New York City. The one on the left on my sketch is a silhouette of Seattle. This is where I live now. I'm speeding up this video. But for you, there is no rush. Take your time. Enjoy the process. You can make all sorts of things with this little drawing. For example, send it as a postcard reminder to watch the total solar eclipse. 
There is another way you can paint a solar eclipse by using a technique called lifting. For that, you just need to use water on top of your previous painting of the sky. And by applying water and collecting the excess of the paint off, you can create any shapes as you like. So keep in mind that some of the paints can be staining and you will not be able to lift them off the paper. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you will have a chance to express your inner scientist and artist during the total solar eclipse 2017. And please don't forget to wear your protective solar glasses. They're not so easy to use as I thought they are. They fall off.